so as executives, you live, you grow up, you have an industry that you're part of, and that industry has certain metrics that drive it, and that's what predicts success. And my argument would be that's a blinder. The very Take retail, you know, uh, traditional retail. Everything about traditional retail was all about the square footage, right? The physical place. And so all your metrics, everything you looked at forever was about that square footage. So same store sales last year. Store sales compared to other stores. Um, the turnover, you know, industry turns, that kind of thing, inventory turns, that kind of thing. And those metrics were completely how you lived your life. Enter the internet, the world changes, and now all of a sudden you've got a completely different set of metrics that you have to deal with. So what I'm interested in talking about today is what does it mean to identify where the world is changing? And so, as I said, Andy Grove had this great phrase, snow melts from the edges. How do you, as an executive, get to the edges of your organization so that you're alert to what might be changing and what metrics might be more relevant in the world that you're um, going into? So a couple of quick points. So the first point is, do I have mechanisms that get me directly in contact with what's happening sort of out there? And the interesting thing is your own organization will try to protect you from the information that you need to hear. And one of my favorite examples of this is The Gap. Last year, they had this big initiative. They were going to try to give their workers more predictable hours. Awesome, right? Um, so, you know, in a given week, you would know when you would be working. And that was great. And so this New York Times reporter tried to figure out from um, one of these store managers, why is it so hard to give workers predictable hours? And the first answer was, oh, corporate, corporate. Corporate's a disaster. And why corporate? Well, you know, they say they're gonna have a promotion on skinny jeans on Thursday. So on Tuesday, we've got everybody in the store working like crazy to move all the skinny jeans from the back of the store to the front of the store. But the part that really caught my eye was this one that I've circled here, which is, oh, and then we have executive visits. You know, I had an executive coming by and it took me two to three shifts every day in the run up to this visit to, you know, make the store ready for this executive to be there. Anybody catch why that's an issue? So the store you and I are in, is that the store the executive's in? No, <laughs> right? That's the store that has been prettied up. It's kind of like, you know, if you're expecting guests and you tidy up your living room, we all know the living room does not look like that on a normal day, right? <laughs> Same thing. So without their meaning to your store, your people in your store, you will be shielded from the reality of your own experience. And I think that's really important to kind of break through. So how do you get to the edges and make it clear that you're really there to learn about what's going on with your organization as it actually is? <laughs>